let's let's move on to some of the characters that you've voiced um specifically bleach for now we are the anime bleach um it ended in 2012 a, a little abruptly um because the manga continued um are you excited to see bleach return because late last year we heard that it's coming back the anime is back the speculation's over well um you never know what the producers are going to do with a new thing. Um, they may completely recast. They did that for Final Fantasy VII. Uh, they recast uh, stuff all the time. So they may start from scratch and throw out all the old voice actors and, and, and get all new guys. That's not unheard of in this town. So when you say, are you excited for it, it's like, not really. I'll, I'll be excited if they call me and say, we want you to Renji again. I'd be like, sure. But oh. I'm not holding my breath because I know how this, this industry works. And, um, I mean, look, at there was, there was a that, – that sound again. Uh, there was a movie uh, done recently, a feature film, about a very popular, legendary dog and a group of his friends. And they threw out almost the entire original voice cast – in favor of celebrities. And did it do any business? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe the pandemic hurt its business. Maybe the fact that none of the originals were there. But, you know, if I was a kid and I was used to seeing a show and I went to see this movie or, or saw the trailer and said, well, that's not the voices that I'm used to. Why would I want to go see this? Uh, I, I probably wouldn't go see it. Uh, but recast stuff happens all the time. So, yeah, I'm, I'm tentatively... I'm a little tentative about it because you never know. They may they may recast. Who knows? You just never know. So that means you haven't heard anything about the production yet? Not a single, single word. <laughs> and that's the God's honest truth. <laughs> well, hypothetically, if they didn't recast. Hypothetically, if they didn't recast and they were to email you and say, hey, you want to be Renji again? Would you be excited to do it? Very. I love, uh, love the hosting. And unlike the United States where the cinematic universe kind of tells the comics what to do over there uh it's the manga that tells the cartoons what to do so between the publication of the manga the tv episodes are like well we just gotta have some filler until the new manga comes out we know what the what the storyline is so that's kind of weird so we have a lot of those filler episodes you're like what the hell's going on in this thing so but yeah it, it's a lot of fun and i love uh, all the rest of the cast um you know, whenever I would see them going in to record. So uh, where's some wood I can knock? Um, let's hope that uh, when it comes back to be dubbed, they get the original cast back. If, the, if that's what the fans want, it's really going to be all about the fans. I know that some of the other stuff, like I said, had been recast, and the fans have been like, well, what is this, you know? Um, and, you know, sometimes the studio will listen to the fans. Sometimes they won't. It's just a matter of uh, what they, you know, who's, the, who's in charge of producing it, do they want to put their own thumbprint on it by getting a whole new cast? Will the fans accept the new voices? I mean, is it going to be a continuation of where the anime left off originally in 2012 or whatever? I mean, pers this is just my personal opinion. I, I could see there being a lot of filler only because the manga did end a few years ago. Um, so the next arc, what they're about to animate is complete. There's, there's no mystery. I mean, they could extend on it. There's no mystery um, in the sense that we kind of know what happens through the manga. So I have a feeling if they're going to bring it back, there might be a lot of filler, which could surprise a lot of fans with a lot of content that they weren't expecting. Um, but in saying that, because of those potential surprises or potential changes that they could potentially make, do, can you see it becoming as popular as what it once was back in 2012 or 2011, 2010? Uh, well, one, one would hope uh, that they haven't lost any momentum in the, in the down time. Mm -hmm. uh, but, I mean, look at, uh, I was uh, blessed to be involved in something called Invader Zim on Nickelodeon. And there was a downtime of about 20 years <laughs> before they did a feature film on Netflix called Reach, Enter, Enter the Florpus. And according to the crowds at San Diego Comic-Con a couple years ago, that hadn't lost any fan base at all. In fact, it had probably increased because people kept passing the videos around and, and making fan videos, and, and the comics certainly helped. Uh, so I, I would expect that uh, a Bleach is a strong enough franchise to where it's, it's probably going to maintain, um, and the fan base is still fairly, fairly rabid. But 
you know, it's got to be it's got to be the right combination again. Is does that mean that includes casting the original voice actors to do it? We don't know. We'll see. But um, well, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of different ways it could go. So um, we hope it goes the way we all want, and maybe it will, maybe it won't. Who knows? It just depends on who gets put in charge of producing it. So hopefully it'll go our way. <laughs> we'll see.